Support for this program is provided in part by Guido's Fresh Marketplace. Welcome to The Natural Cook. I'm Anna Gershenstein. I'm so happy to invite you again to my show where I'm going to share with you why I'm so excited about this season. Finally, it's summer and it has become my favorite season because everything is growing, everything is blooming. And finally, locally grown produce is in the farmer's markets. And I invite you to come to our farmer's markets and sponsor them and enjoy this wonderful food. Today, I have decided to prepare two very simple salads. Summer is season to be feeling easy and not to have to work too hard. So you buy your proteins and you go outside and you grill. And then you think, OK, what am I going to eat this chicken or, or beef or fish with. And so that's why I chose two very, very easy salads that you can throw together while your protein is being grilled. OK, so one salad is arugula salad with red grapes, with feta, and with lemon vinaigrette, and with dukkha. And the other salad is just cucumber and lime, some hot peppers, and um, mint. So there isn't even any oil there. Uh, so the first recipe came from a book by Jen Lewis. She has written a wonderful book, The Book of Greens. And there she goes and looks at all kinds of greens and comes up with wonderful ways of making different delicious dishes. So the first thing we will start with is making dukkha, because this is probably an unfamiliar word to you. And this is the kind of um, condiment that came to us from Egypt. And you can make it in big quantity, have it on your countertop at room temperature for a month, and then sprinkle it on you know, your eggs or vegetables or on the salads. And that's where we're going to, uh, we're going to use it. So, um, I cut this uh, recipe in half, uh, and I'm going to be giving you the quantity of, um, of this recipe. So first, we are going to toast sesame seeds. So I preheated my skillet. And when you are going to be toasting sesame seeds or any other spices, you really have to watch to make sure that they are not going to burn. You want them to, to start turning color, but if they are going to burn, then they are not going to be tasting good. So please watch what you are doing and not, don't let them go black. And also, once they are toasted, you will uh, move them to a little plate so that they will cool off. And because um, I have to deal with two separate recipes, um, you can see already that I have some smoke coming, so I will reduce the heat. And you can always, of course, lift the pan um, so that it stops, stops kind of um, heating up. Of course, everything keeps cooking regardless. So I see that they are already beginning to turn the color. And definitely, you cannot smell it, but when you are going to be making it, the aroma of these spices is just unbelievable. And it makes you really hungry. So let's put the toasted sesame seeds on the skillet. And I will first toast cumin that goes into my second recipe, because um, there, are, there will be many, many other spices that I need to toast for dukkha. And I just want to get it out of the way. So again. Um, 
All of these spices are not only delicious, but they are full of healing properties. And this is why I like including them. I know that I'm eating something yummy, and at the same time, it's really good for my tummy and for my whole body. Okay, so I see that it's turning color, and I'm going to move it as well. So let me put it here so that it would be cooling. And now we will proceed. So we will put coriander seeds. So you have quarter cup of coriander seeds in the recipe. Um, I don't know if I told you how many sesame seeds I put. Three tablespoons of sesame seeds. Then you have two tablespoons of cumin seeds. Then you have a tablespoon of black peppercorns and um, caraway seeds. You have um, just a, uh, one and a half teaspoons of caraway seeds and one teaspoon of fennel seeds. And now you are toasting them together. So you are toasting them and you are making sure that um, they are not burning. So just smell and watch. The other thing that goes into dukkha is uh, nut. The nut, she uses hazelnut, Jen uses hazelnuts, and um, hazelnuts are not really an easy nut to come by everywhere. I, I couldn't find it anywhere. So you can use pistachios or you can use um, almonds. But what you do first, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then you um, toast them in the oven for about um, I would say seven to ten minutes, you will start smelling it as well. And then when you put it out onto a plate to cool, you definitely remove them uh, from the oven, from the baking sheet on which you put it. Then as they are cooling, you will hear how they are crackling as they are cooling. So that's a good sign. It knows that they, it means that they really have browned. Uh, and then, uh, so you will use um, also, so half a cup of nuts, and then you will add one and a half teaspoons of dried mint, and you will add two teaspoons of fine sea salt, and that's it. So definitely for this amount of seeds and nuts, I would need um, a bigger mortar and pestle, and I, I do not have it, but if you have it, or if you are going to invest in, in it, this is really a very good tool to have. So, um, we are going to be crushing it, everything in it. But in the meantime, I can smell, I can definitely smell this, and I will be moving it soon to a plate to cool. So um, another, another um, uh, point that I want to make is that um, this dukkha really uh, combines very nicely with arugula. Arugula is a wonderful green, and I got it at the farmer's market. There are many good farms that come to downtown Pittsfield farmer's market where I shop. It's on Saturdays from 9 to 1, and it's very popular, and you can get wonderful things. I got arugula from um, a boat farm, and there is also a Colfax farm, and, and White Goose farm, and... Um, uh, square root farm, they have wonderful, wonderful um, produce that they are growing, and of course many other things on top of that, like eggs and, um, and chicken and pork. Uh, my favorite thing, fresh chicken livers are coming to the farmer's market next week, so I'm really, really excited. I'll be able to eat them soon. Okay, so I think that it is um, toasted, so I'll move it. And what we are going to do, we can turn off our stove. We don't need it anymore. And we are going to cut grapes in half. So Jen, um, for this recipe, she is using eight packed cups of arugula, and that is about five ounces. So if you go to the market, like to the supermarket, and I recommend to buy them organic, um, then five ounce container is something that will serve a whole recipe that she, that she gives. And so she uses 32 grapes that she cuts in half. So we'll be cutting the grapes in half. Okay, and I 
Um, I strongly recommend to use organic grapes because um, grapes are on the list of dirty dozen. As you know, that this is a list of produce that is, is ex excessively treated with pesticides and all kinds of different chemicals. Um, and there are, it's just dirty dozen. In, and there are many more vegetables. So for example, I never buy organic, you know, mango or avocado or, or watermelon, but definitely grapes are on this list as well as, you know, many of the greens that Jen put into her book that she recommends to eat and they are definitely wonderful for you. And they have a lot of, a lot of nutrients. And also, um, as you can see, because arugula is so sp spicy and peppery, that uh, sweet grapes go really nicely with it, kind of like a counterpoint. And also, this earthy um, dukkha that is so heavy with cumin and all these other spices also balances um, this pepperiness. Okay, so let's put it here. And now um, we will proceed to make dukkha. It's still a little warm, so let me make the dressing first. The dressing that she makes is a simple lemon vinaigrette. And as you know, I like dressing salads simply, you know, grating lemon zest and um, sprinkling some salt and sprinkling um, some, some kind of acid, like lemon juice in this case, tossing together and then uh, sprinkling olive oil on top. Well, since I'm following Jen's recipe, she's basically doing the same thing, except she is creating a vinaigrette with a lemon zest, lemon juice, and olive oil. And she gives a recipe that is quite hefty. Um, I cut this recipe, uh, I cut it down. So um, I'm using quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And by the way, you when you buy your lemon, make sure that you pick it up, that you feel it's heavy for its weight, that you can actually squeeze it, because um, if you cannot squeeze it, it means that the skin will be so, so thick that you won't really get much juice out of it. And then you just roll it before, before you um, squeeze the juice, because then it, pr it gives you just yields much more juice. OK, so what we are going to do is take um, Take the lemon and microplane grater and just grate um, the, the zest. And by the way, she, she does not add salt into the dressing. And the reason is that she is putting salt on the salad. And besides, Duca has salt as well. So if you are going to put salt into your lemon vinaigrette, then you will end up with a dish that is too salty, and you won't appreciate it for sure. Even though I always say that you have to make sure that you use salt, you add salt, because it allows all your flavors to come through. So now you will add your um, quarter cup of lemon juice to this, and then you will drizzle in six tablespoons, and this is kind of ratio that I like as well. I don't like dressing to be very heavy in oil. So slowly you will start drizzling the oil to emulsify it. And when you see that you get your emulsification, then you can, you can add it in a heavier stream. Okay. So of course, since you add the lemon zest, that it really makes it so fragrant because you get the tartness and acidity from the lemon juice, but it's, it's the aroma that comes from the lemon zest from all of these wonderful um, oils that are in the zest of a citrus fruit. Okay, so our dressing is ready, and by the way, you can keep it in the refrigerator for a, for a week. 
So you always have something ready and yummy. And make sure to remember to season your salad. If you are using it in a different salad, just remember that it doesn't have any salt. And if you want to change it, we, you can always add some grated garlic. You can add some, uh, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of salt and pepper. So you can actually use it as a base to create something else. Okay, so dressing is ready. And now on to um, our dukkha. So let's see how I can manage this. I'll probably have to break it up into, like take half of it because it won't fit into my little mortar and pestle. Of course, there are also um, fancy spice grinders now on the market that are very nice. Okay, so we are, we are um, I can tell the smell is just amazing and I know that everybody who is working with me today, somebody who is sitting with me in the studio and helping me, and maybe people even behind the closed door who are tending the cameras, I bet when they enter this room, they will be very pleasantly surprised because this is just such a wonderful aroma, especially when you toast your seeds, then all the oils come through and they become very, very fragrant. And, and then um, you just put it into your food and enjoy the fragrance and the taste and the nutritional benefits of it. Okay, so since it is already, I, I kind of ground half of it. So that's how much I'll grind because I, otherwise I won't have room for my nuts. So I'm putting toasted almonds and I am also breaking them up into smaller pieces. Okay. All right. This is kind of muscle building exercise. You can chop your almonds a little bit on the board prior to putting it. If you have a small uh, mortar and pestle like I do, you can just, you know, cut it up and then put it into mortar and pestle to create smaller pieces. Okay, almost, almost done. So then when this is ready, then you just add to it, um, you just add to it the mint. So you add one and a half teaspoons dried mint. We put fresh mint into our cucumber salad, but dry mint into this salad. And by the way, dukkha has very many variations. You might find a recipe of dukkha and you would say, oh, that is not the dukkha that Anna was telling us about. I made recipe of dukkha with um, different, uh, different herbs, like there was no mint, but there was thyme there. And also there were, um, sunflower seeds and sesame seeds of course there as well and there were hemp seeds there as well and it was really really delicious so i highly recommend and don't leave like leave the the nut pieces still visible so that you can kind of bite into them all right so now what you do let's move it all here and you will add your mint and then you will add, uh, for the full recipe, you add two teaspoons of fine salt. And then you just all mix it together. You can do it with a fork or you can do it with your hands. You know, it's up to you. So we have this beautiful dukkha that will go into our salad. All right, let's clean up our working surface. So as you can see, Whenever I'm talking about mise en place, this is the mise en place. Everything has to be in front of you. Okay, so I'm going to dress it um, at the end because I don't want it to be sitting and wilting. And I will s now switch to the next recipe, which is the cucumber. And that is from Nick Sharma's book. I made the delicious um, egg salad with roasted um, with roasted garlic 
And now th I saw this salad and I was just eyeing it and couldn't wait for the opportunity to make it uh, sometime for you guys. And he uses green Thai chili peppers. This is not something I could procure, but um, I just got jalapenos, so hopefully it will work. So you can either very thinly slice them or you can uh, mince them. I'm going to mince them. And then um, this, this is the kind of salad, both salads have to be really eaten right away. Um, the cucumber salad can be made, um, actually should be made a little in advance, and it's good when it sits in the refrigerator, um, no longer than maybe for half a day, but at least 10 minutes so that the flavors will, will kind of melt together. So we'll, we'll just chop up this um, hot pepper. And like I said, that in this salad, you really don't have any oil at all. It's very refreshing. And Nick is sharing his memories of his childhood where he grew up in India and where this was kind of a food that they would eat all the time, you know, not, not um, probably e even as a salad, but just toss cucumbers and lime and some hot pepper flakes and, and you have your, your wonderful snack. And of course, when it's hot, uh, then it cools you. Cucumber is really a very cooling food as well as, as mint and good for your digestion and also has a lot of the so-called structured water. You know, we need to drink a lot of water, but we're forgetting that there is water in all of the vegetables and fruit, and, they are, and it is absorbed much better by your body than just simple water. Okay, so let's do this. So now um, I will cut it like this first, and let's just dice it. Okay, and the bowl in which I'm going to mix it is right here. So I will, um, I will move my dukkha somewhere else because I need to grind now my um, toasted sesame. Remember I toasted sesame seeds at the beginning? These are for this salad. And we are going to grind them again so everything is green, green, green. I know some people are not excited to eat green, but I am very excited to eat green. Green is a wonderful color. The greener, the better. Okay, so we are going to put it here. Then we are going to, let's move it. We don't need it anymore. We will move our peppers into this bowl where we are going to be mixing our cucumbers. So we will make a dice. All right, so cut in half and then you can make like probably four, four long cuts and then dice. And um, I actually, um, the recipe that Nick provides in his cookbook doesn't have lemon zest, but one of his friends who he was visiting with in Australia um, had this recipe before the book came out, and he actually um, is suggesting to use lime zest as well. And that's my favorite thing, as you know. Zest is my favorite thing because it gives so much flavor and it's also good for you. So I'm definitely going to add some lime zest. All right, so let's see. Let's move it. Okay. All right, let's move this here. Okay. All right. And then all we need to do is just dress it. And that's so easy. Isn't it easy? The show is only half an hour, even a little less. And I managed to throw together 
two salads and you can do the same and then you can have the vinaigrette sitting in your refrigerator for next salad and you also can have dukkha that you are going to sprinkle on your grilled vegetables. It's going to be totally fantastic. All right, so let's take now our microplane grater, zest. Okay, put some zest and of course we'll take mint. And this is the mint that grows outside of my apartment. I planted it probably two summers ago and it goes like crazy. So it's always ready for me. Okay, so we will take um, like a few leaves. And of course you need to wash it and then you can use it for decoration on your salad. And it's great to have mint tea. You just have to pour to pour some hot water over your mint, just like that, you know, with a stem and everything. Okay, so here you, you take it and you just roll it like that. And it's so easy to slice. Okay, so it will be a very refreshing salad. And of course, salt and pepper go into it as well. and then put it in the refrigerator before you eat it. All right, looks good. So now, sea salt. Okay, where did I put my sea salt? Okay, so uh, my sea salt is uh, on, the other <laughs> on the other side of the set. So, um, I'm going to disappear just for one second because I don't want it to be under seasoned and grab my salt. Okay, I don't know how it ended up there. I probably put it there without thinking. So first, you sprinkle your salt. You grind some black pepper. Okay. You toss it together and then you roll your lime, and of course the same applies to lime as to lemon. It, it has to be soft. Okay, and then I'll just grab a fork and I will squeeze the lime juice on top of this. And that's it. And just toss it together and your salad is ready and it's beautiful and if you want it spicier you can either cut up more chilies or you can um, simply add uh, hot pepper flakes all right so now on to our salad we'll dress the salad right here so let me grab this this is my favorite way of dressing salad just on a sheet pan it's much easier and all you do is, as you, you can see, that these are not from the supermarket. See how long they are? So you put your um, grapes, you put your feta for this whole recipe. Uh, if you use full, re full recipe, it's like four ounces of feta. And you take your dukkha. You sprinkle and a little bit of salt and your vinaigrette and you mix it and that's it. See how simple it is? Simple and delicious and beautiful. And when you see something like that, you just want to eat it. And like I said, this salad, you can only dress right before you eat. Let me taste. If we need more of anything, let's grab all of this. Mm. Mm. So good. You actually taste the saltiness of feta and bitterness disappears. So I'm so happy you joined me today because 
you'll learn some wonderful things that I'm sure you will use in your kitchen that are simple, nutritious, delicious. So please come again and join me next time. Goodbye. <music>